and welcome to this um, video about this esoteric um, SA60 SACD player. Very, very good machine it is. Um, it has this uh, VSOP mechanism. VSOP is like cognac, very soft old pale. It's a continuation of the um, VRDS thing and uh, it's good that somebody still uh, makes uh, good loaders. I don't actually know what's inside there. I haven't opened it up yet. Um, for the decoder, it uses three Cirrus Logic uh, CS4398, which I like because Electro Company uses them, and I like Electro Company. Um, what was wrong with it? Um, this is a Japanese, I, um, let me turn down the music a bit because it, it is a 100 volt Japanese unit that had 240 volts put on it. So it has suffered a catastrophic failure and, and the first thing that went was the Arco transformer. Uh, I fixed a few of those things that, uh, that had 240 volts put on them. And Transformers have, as a fire protection, a thermal fuse on the primary winding. That, that is what goes. And uh, if you take it apart, uh, which was difficult in this case because those tabs here need to be straightened up to uh, free the windings on the core from the mounting bracket. This is actually tabs from a mounting bracket. And that, that was a job in itself, but um, but this particular transformer didn't have a thermal fuse. Uh, and as I said, I've done it before, and I'm the only couple of backsets from Jaker. For those who think they didn't have a good go, well, have a look here. This is, this is uh, how it looks like. This is uh, uh, on both sides, you know. I, I've sort of uh, did spend some... Oh, there is actually... This is, this is how a thermal fuse looks like. Okay? Um, and they're normally somewhere there, but not in this particular one. So I had to buy a new transformer. But it was still blowing fuses. And, um, and after a lot of work on it, I found out uh, that uh, what really happened was that on the almost output of a 8-volt line that goes to the mechanism, there is this... Um, 16 volt, supposedly 16 volt capacitor, 33 micro uh, electrolytic, but in fact it was 10 volts, and that went short circuit. So the whole rail went, the whole current through there went through that um, FET, multiple drain FET, and of course, you know, was blowing not only the fuses but also that FET, and that FET is surface mount. It's that big, you know. It's it's the pins on it, the six pin thing, uh, my soldering guy and tip is, uh, is, is wider than two of those. And of course the problem with those things is with, with such high density it's hard to work on, it's hard to remove anything. You have to remove adjacent components to, 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 to get to it. So a lot of hours spent on that, days in fact, you know. If I charge this customer two and a half or three grand, that wouldn't be enough. But, but you know, he, he's um, a collector here in Perth, and um, you know, he's a good customer, so that's that, that's why I sort of took it on. Um, uh, what else? Uh, as far as build is concerned, it's it's excellent build. It's excellent build. Uh, no afterthoughts here. Very little cabling, you know, there's just that. And um, capacitors, all those blue ones there are Sanyo Oscons. The rest are either Nihikon or um, Nippon Chemicon. Um, sounds very, very good. I've, I've, my biggest coup to date was fixing a Varia 16. And I sold it and then I regretted it and I bought it back from the same guy uh, after a year and a half uh, in his possession when it developed some faults, you know, the, it was audiophiles, some, some um, big cables were put on it and, 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 and the, he blew a, one of the inputs. But anyway, 
those minor really faults. Um, so, is it fully fixed? No, it isn't. As you say, it says no word, which I think uh, has to do with SACD decoding. So, it plays CDs fine, plays any faulty CDs or anything like that, you know, and, and, and plays through um, my TIAC test disk with 0.9 of a millimeter uh, breaking data layer or, or black dot. But uh, but doesn't play any SACDs. All the control uh, work, and uh, you can um, change different filtering there. But um, no SACDs, and the reason for that is I don't believe that this is a, um, a problem with the mechanism as normally is the case. Although I'll open it up and um, and clean the lens, and also the the tray has sometimes a bit of hesitancy in opening up. But what I think it is, I don't know whether it can be seen or not, but this is a um, SACD decoder chip, CXD, I think 18850 or something like that from memory. But you can, I don't know if you can see or not, but in that corner there, around pin 1, there's a bit of discoloration. Oh, you can see it now. That discoloration normally means excessive heat was there which means of a current so I would say that that chip is blown given it is 120 150 pins well I'm not going to work on that I can tell you that much for free maybe somebody else um, but this is just a video to show the owner um, that you know it's it's largely has been fixed uh, and, and to show others, you know, what it looks inside because it's not often that you uh, get to see them. Well, thank you very much and sorry for my waffling yet again. And uh, till the next one. Bye-bye.